Since 1967, Joe Granda has been part of the South Florida entertainment industry. At the age of eight, he was a child actor for WLTV, now Univision, in a variety children's program, Cabalgata Infantil, as a magician and ventriloquist. In 1973, at 12 years old, Joe Granda began his musical journey by becoming the lead vocalist of one of Miami's most prominent rock funk disco band, Majesty, where he recorded his debut album by the age of 15. And in the mid 80s, Granda appeared in several Miami Vice TV shows and opened a modeling agency and placed his models and actors in TV commercials for Pepsi, Nike, Pony, JCPenney, and many more. Then he signed the breakdance group, the FBI crew, from a talent contest he held at his Allegro nightclub. The group went on to record the top 10 rap single, Rockin' It, by MC Flex and the FBI crew, and landed a part in the motion picture, Night of the City, toured the US, and became part of the soundtrack of the movie. Since then, he has been at the forefront of almost every new musical movement. As a producer, songwriter, promoter, manager, record label executive, and event producer. From the rock era to the early beginnings of the disco movement, Granda became one of the strongest forces. Working closely with disco acts like Gloria Gaynor, Lime, Evelyn Thomas, France Jolie, In 1986, in the early days of freestyle, Joe Granda produced and composed one of the biggest records of this movement, Diamond Girl by Nice and Wild. Diamond Girl went on to sell more than 200,000 12 inch singles and remained in the Billboard Club sales chart for 28 weeks and has become a classic hit still played at radio today. His hits continued with Nice and Wild with Ooh Baby, hitting the number one spot at Power 96 Radio in Miami and other stations nationwide. During the beginning of the Tribal House movement, two more dance classics were produced. Mas Suave, by Dogma and the Afro-Cuban Rhythm. And Chango by Latin Express. Which were hits all over the world and still get heavy play at clubs nationwide. In the late 90s and early 2000s, he became one of the strongest forces promoting major Latin artists to the street, crossover, club community, specializing in the Latin gay market. Having huge crossover success with Ricky Martin and working with Gloria Stefan, Celia Cruz, India, which he has personally known since she was 15 years old. Joe then had the opportunity to work with megastar Christina Aguilera when she selected his boy band Fifth Vision to open up her concert for the Disney TV special Two Hour Tour. In 2000, he began producing some of the biggest festivals and events in and around Florida, including Hispanic Fest in Hollywood, events at the Broward Center of the Performing Arts, Calle Ocho Stage, and landed a contract to produce Viva La Musica, a bi-yearly event at SeaWorld Adventure Park in Orlando. Viva La Musica has become one of the biggest events in SeaWorld history. It expanded to Tampa's Busch Gardens Adventure Park, working with the top Latin artists such as Victor Manuel, Gilberto Santa Rosa, El Gran Combo, Oscar de Leon, 
Jerry Rivera, Willy Colón, Grupo Nietzsche, Mili Quesada, Elvis Crespo, Grupo Manía, Aventura, Zion and Lennox, Don Omar, Ivy Queen, Tito el Bambino, Manny Manuel, Tito Nieves, Ednita Nazario, Paulina Rubio, and many, many more have graced the stage. In 2002, he began working closely with Paulina Rubio when she began recording her English release and promoted the hit single, Don't Say Goodbye, Si Tu No Estás. And on 2003, he began working with Thalia and was instrumental in breaking her song and video, A Quien Le Importa, the song that most identified her and the gay community. He presented Thalia for the first time in an exclusive performance for the gay community, which became an international non-stop tabloid news due to the appearance of his other client and friend, Paulina Rubio. This marked a new era as he began to expand to the National Gay Club Tour. He has brought international awareness of the artists that support the gay, lesbian, bi, and transgender community through these national tours and the Latin stages at gay pride events such as the Los Angeles Pride, the Long Beach Pride, San Francisco Pride. With appearances by Talia, India, Paulina Rubio, Jennifer Peña, Gabriela Spanning, Faye, Mariana Suani, Deborah Cox, Lucia Mendez, Noelia, Pilar Montenegro, and many, many more have graced the stage. And reigning queen, of the Latin gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender community, Gloria Trevi. Todos Me Miran has become the new anthem of the GLBT community through his promotion efforts. He is also strongly involved with the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation helping them to select the recipient of the Valentia Award. He has also been strongly involved in the record promotion of many artists, including John Cicada, Miguel Bosé, Luis Fonsi, Emmanuel, David Bisbal, Belanova, Juanes, just to mention a few. His awards include eight platinum records, four gold records, two premios billboard a la musica latina, proclamation from the city of Hialeah where he grew up, proclamation from the city of San Francisco, Joe Granda, Pure Entertainment.